the strategic level case study. This is only an introduction. We are starting the official sessions from the set from tomorrow. Today is just an introduction, but the official sessions will be starting from tomorrow. As you know, for strategic level case study, our core objective is to build a better CEO. Building a better chief executive officer is our core objective, nothing else. That is what SEMA as an organization pushing fairly hard. That is what we have been pushing fairly hard. Now, why I say we have been pushing fairly, fairly hard is I am part of the SEMA Global Council. I am part of SEMA Global Council uh, where we always discuss about how we can build a better member where we are looking at not the core technical skills but a better CEO who can manage an organization better is our main objective. Is our main objective. So that is what we are behind. That is what we are behind. Now, uh, actually, in the SEMA Global Council, uh, there are, as you know, SEMA has got connected with AICPA. So now SEMA and AICPA has joined hands. SEMA and AICPA, American Institute of Accountants, both these institutes have got together and created the world largest management accounting institute what we know as association so association has a board association has a board association is a combination of sema and aicpa from sema board 13 members are there in the association from aicpa board there are 13 members in the association so i hope i am not confusing you in the association there are 26 members available. 13 of them are coming from SEMA and the balance 13 of them are coming from the AICPA. So this largest institute, what we call association, is a part of SEMA and AICPA getting together. So I'm on the SEMA board. Some of our board members will be there to represent the uh, association as well. So one of the things that we work hard is to ensure that we build a better CEO. That is what the SEMA is all about. Now, we had the meetings in London about three weeks ago. We had the meetings in London in three weeks ago. The next meetings are going to be in Poland in February. Next meetings are going to be in Poland in February. So that's about SEMA. But what about strategic level case study? There is a very interesting pre-scene that is already given. Very interesting precinct. I mean, we need to argue, we need to argue about this precinct a little bit as well. The precinct that is given, the precinct that is given for November 2021 exam is, is a very interesting organization. We are in the business of designing and selling video games 24 24 pages loan pre-seed pixel vis is the name of the company pixel vis is a quoted company that means a listed company that means we have a public share price available is a quoted listed company that creates and sells video games this is what the industry that we are talking about when we are a quoted listed pub, when you are a quoted public company, the way you look at the things, the way you do things will entirely differ. It will be entirely different. I am working as a CEO of a public listed company. I am working as a CEO of a public listed company. I will share with you my views of how it is working. I work as a CEO of a public listed company. I can share with you the additional troubles that we have and all that. But this is the organization that we are talking about, Fixelvis, which is a public listed company, and we sell, design, develop, sell video games. I mean, video games industry is a very interesting industry. Based on the pre-scene, 
this is the pre-seen details. On the page number three of the pre-seen, they are telling me size of the industry is 170 million. They are telling me size of the industry is 170 million. 170 million W dollars. Wow. What is that W dollars? W dollars is we are in a company, we are in a country called Vesla. We are in a country called Vesla. Since we are in a country called Vesla, Pixel Vis is based in a country called Vesla, a developed country. So we are in a country called Vesla. The currency of Wexland, currency of Westland, as you can easily predict, is W dollars. The currency in Westland, as you can predict, is W dollars. So therefore, all the numbers given are in W dollars. That is why they say W dollars, 170 million. It will be very interesting for you to study the real world examples. In the real video gaming industry in the real world, not in Westland. Westland is a fictitious country. There is no real country called Westland, as you know. But in the real world, size of the video gaming industry is 170 million US dollars. So they have taken the numbers, very similar numbers. They have taken very similar numbers, 170 million. Right? That's the size of the industry. And if you look at 2,500 companies are in there in this industry, 170 million W dollars is the size of the industry as given here. The change that we see is the physical equipment that is used to play the game. That is the most critical part. What is the physical equipment that is used to play the game? That is the most critical part available. Now, this is the latest data. Can you see? Can you see smartphones is the largest equipment Today, today's smartphone is the largest equipment that is used to play the video games. Today, smartphone is the largest equipment used to play the video game. Can you see the other equipments that is used to play the video game? I am sure you can see this game console, handhold console. You know what game console and handhold console is? I'm sure you know what it is. I can show you some pictures of them from the pre-scene itself. I can show you some pictures of it from the pre-scene itself. So these are the handhold console. These are the handhold consoles that is being used. So they are the old methods of playing the video games. They are the old method of playing the video games. So for you to give a little bit of insight about the industry now in the real world. Let me give you some hints from the real world. So I'm sure you will understand it better. In the real world today, the actual numbers I'm going to tell you. In the real world today, 59% of video games are played on the mobile phones. 59% of the video games in the real world are played in the mobile games. I I'm sorry. 59% of the video games are played using the mobile phones today. In 2012, not long ago, in 2012, it was only 18%. Are you clear? Uh, did I confuse you? I hope I am not. In 2012, only 18% of the video games were played using mobile. Today, 59% of the video games are played using mobile phones. So one of the biggest change that we have seen in the past in the industry is nothing else but the equipment that is being used to play the video games. There is a major shift in the equipment in the industry that is being used to play the video games. Right? That's a big change available because mobile phones are available all over. Internet is available all over. So a lot of video games now can be played on the mobile phones. Of course, there are various equipment that is being used. You know VR and AR? You know virtual reality and augmented reality? You know virtual reality and augmented reality? Virtual reality is, you can't do that with my specs, 
virtual reality is you wear a cover like this, a camera. So you open your eyes, you will really, you will see a reality virtually created for you. So when you open your eyes, you are in the middle of the jungle. You can slowly move. And this side you have the jungle, this side you have the jungle. You need to be careful from the animals that you can see. And you can move to any side that you want. It's a virtually created reality available. Virtual reality. That is being used to play video games. So can you see this guy? He is using virtual reality. He is using virtual No, He is not in this room now. He might be middle of the jungle. He might be in Iceland. He might be on the sky. That's why he's laughing. And from what he's, what he's holding in the hands, he will move himself to any side that he would like. He can run. So not that he's physically running. In the virtual reality, he's running fast. In the virtual reality, he's running fast. Virtual reality is one of the latest technologies available and 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 uh, and used in the gaming in Russia a lot. So I'm getting a message from administration side. If you log in from two, two different names, please take out one. There yeah, are a lot of people are there who can't log in because the because this session is full. Apparently, a lot of people are there who can't log in. I might do the justice for them by doing another session if they want. But some people can't log in because uh, not enough room. Uh, but uh, so if you are if you are here in two num names, you can remove one, right? So then others can come in. Now I can see numbers came down. It went up again. That means the people in the lobby came in. Okay. So virtual. Don't worry. Let's continue. Virtual reality is that augmented reality, augmented reality, AR is entirely different. Virtual reality and augmented reality are two different things. We explain it a little later. But the augmented reality is. You have the reality as it is, what you see. There's a camera. Whatever you see is there as it is. Reality is there, but augmented. Augmented is for the, for the reality that you see, you put a, another item from outside. That's what augmented reality is. Now, I am working as a CEO of a public listed company. We manufacture uh, plates. We manufacture plates, right? We manufacture cup and saucer plates dinnerware. We manufacture this kind of things. So we have augmented reality that is being used. We give you the plates so you can wear the augmented reality glass or augmented reality equipment. Then you can see the reality of your house. When you put that plate on your table, how it would look like. I mean, how this plate will look like on your table, on your actual table. It's not a virtual reality. It is the reality, but augmented with the product, right? So we will discuss about those. So what I am trying to tell you is, likewise, there is a very nice pre-scene that is given by Seema. Very nice pre-scene that is given by Seema for this time. High-level industry, the video games, we design, develop, distribute, sell video games. That is how we make money out. Of course, we are in a country called Westland. Uh, we started our business in 1986. We are in a country called Westland, 5,100 employees. We have our operations in three different countries called Eastland, Southland, Northland. Eastland, Southland, Northland. So all those details are given in the KYP. So as you can see, this KYP is quite long. This has 30 pages. This KYP has 30 pages in it. This is the 30th page. This KYP has 30 pages in it. When you join with Nanaska to do the SEMA strategic level exam, we have the first stage. The first stage that I work with you is what we call KYP. KYP stands for Know Your pre -seed. KYP stands for Know Your pre -seed. KYP know your precinct because you can't read 30 pages from that document. It will be very boring for you to read 30 pages. To make your life easier, 
we give you what we call KYP, know your precinct, that is much nicer PowerPoint presentation which explain to you what is in the SEMA precinct. So that's the stage number one. Stage number one is that. This is the first thing that we will do when you join the course from tomorrow. Executive summary, ah, ah, ah. name of the company, fix service, company type, quoted company, origin, invest learn, a developed country, industry, video game designing, operations, development and sale of variety of video games, geographical range, invest learn, company size, 5,100 employees. So then you will see summary of the board. I mean, a lot of details we have given you in a very nice presentation. So your life becomes easier. Wow, net profit margin. My gosh, very high net profit margin. How do we do that? We will go and learn. Gearing, 25% of our financing is from gearing. So this nice presentation will make your life easier because we have put it to an easier user-friendly document. Fixel will always be the best game developer in the real and in the virtual worlds. In the real world and the virtual world, we want to be the best game developer. That's a vision that we wanted to achieve. That's a vision that we wanted to achieve. So mission, vision, values are all given there. So you will see a lot of uh, uh, TV and we are, a lot of video games are there as well. I mean, I'm sure you have heard of them. How popular the video game industry? I, you, I mean, when we start the discussions, you will be able to see. I think it's too early for me to share that with you because we have enough time to do that. But when you when you start, you will realize uh, game industry is much much larger than the movie industry and the music industry put in together. Look at you know uh, you know Reed Hastings. Reed Hastings is the CEO of Netflix. Reed Hastings is the CEO of Netflix. You know the Netflix story, right? Netflix was started. Uh, Reed Hastings borrowed some movies from Blockbuster. He rented some CDs from Blockbuster. Right? Blockbuster was the US DVD renting shop. They were available all over US. The physical stores, you go there, pay money, rent a CD, rent a DVD, you return it after a week. Right? You return it after a week. He went to one of those places and rented DVDs. He could not return on time. There was a huge penalty. When you could not return on time, there was a big penalty available. So Reed Hastings was thinking, this is wrong. He developed a software where the movies can put in and the access was given, username and password given for the people to come and watch. That is what Netflix, that is how Netflix started. After some time, he was about to go bankrupt. He was about to go bankrupt. He went into Blockbuster and said, please buy my company. He said, Blockbuster, please buy my company. You have physical DVD renting places all over the country. Online part can be my company. Online part can be my company. Blockbuster threw him away out of the boardroom. They laughed at him. They threw him away. Later, Blockbuster went bankrupt because of Netflix. So that's the Netflix that I'm talking about. Reed Hastings is the CEO of Netflix. In 2019, he said, two years ago, he said, I'm not worried about HBO. I'm not worried about Amazon. I'm not worried about Disney+. Plus. I'm not worried about any other companies like Netflix. I'm only worried about online gaming. You can now see the difference. Ah, ah, ah. So we online... Netflix is online movie watching. The owner of Netflix was saying, look here, my competition is online gaming. So he was right. Today, online gaming is a bigger industry. 
than the movie industry. So, so this is the level we had come in today. Gaming products are available from Apple. Gaming products are available from Google. Gaming products are available from Amazon. So everyone is coming into this simply because of simply because of this popularity. I mean, you will very soon you will know the movies were made out of the games. I mean, the game came up initially. The game was so popular, movies were made based on the games later. Movies were made based on the games later. The game was so popular. Game was so popular. Right? So, I'm sure you may have watched the movie uh, Rampage, right? Rampage. I don't know whether I pronounced this right. Rampage. This is a movie that is inspired from the game. This is a movie that is inspired from the game. So, Rampage is a game where there is a monster. He will go and kill the people, destroy the buildings. So, that movie was based on a game, video game. So, all what I am trying to say is these are very interesting industry. Lot to learn. We will watch this movie as well. Not the entire movie. The 20 minutes of the movie we will watch in our program. When you join with Nanasky CS, we will watch the movie. So, you will realize how popular these games were. Then you will realize how popular these games were. Right? You will realize how popular these games were. Right? So, I want you to, I want you to kind of uh, think about this very interesting industry. Learn about it using the KYP. So, KYP stands for Know Your pre -seed. Know Your pre -seed. The various, I'm showing you the KYP on the screen now. And I'm talking about some of the real world companies that is available in the industry as well. Right? Real world games that is available in the industry. So then you will be able to get a very good idea about this industry if you go through the KYP. So all these are the characters we have taken from the movies. So there are idea generation when you are designing a movie. Pre-production, development, testing. Then only we release it. It's a computer game that you are going to build. So it's not very easy. There are complications involved. There are enough games that are not going right. So all those details are available in what we call the KYP. So I want you to go through the KYP. That is the stage number one. You cannot learn about the, in, learn about the company unless you know the industry very well. Unless you know the industry very well. Second stage. There are 10 stages in our program. There are 10 stages in our program. Second stage is called KYI. Can you guess what KYI stands for? You can't get to know the company unless you know the industry very well. Can you guess what KYI stands for? Stage number two. There are 10 stages in my teaching. Nanaska. Number one, KYP. Know your pre -seed. Number two, KYI. Can you guess what KYI stands for? KYI stands for Know Your Industry. That's a second stage of our studies with you. This document will tell you about the industry. Very basic doc details about the industry. Very basic details about the industry will be given here. Uh, very, very basic details about the industry will be given. Uh, process of developing video games. What is the process available? Developing a video game. How does it work? All the details are given. Right? So, so this document, you will be able to see uh, details about the real world companies, key players like the Sony. Sony. How do they make video games? Are they profitable? Tencent, are they profitable? Nintendo, Microsoft. So all of them are in the gaming industry now. So then we will be able to learn about some specific details about the industry. I mean, here is a comparison in, don't take it very, very serious. Don't take it very, very serious. This is a comparison between the pre-seen company and one of the real-world companies. 
So fixed cell VC is the pre-seen company. This is one of the real world companies that you are going to study. Fixed cell VC started in 1986. The real world company started in 1889. Products, employees, beta, sales, right? So very similar companies are available in the real world. And when you go in, in the, in the KYI, know your industry, you will have a lot of details about different video games that is available in the real world. So when you join with us from tomorrow, stage number one is called KYP, stage number two is called KYI. Stage number three is called BD, BD stands for deep dive, where we do an in-depth analysis of the pre -seed. In-depth analysis of the pre-scene and argue, can this be right? Is it possible? Can this be right? Is it possible? That is what we call deep dive. That's a stage number three. Stage number four is called ground rules. Wow. When you do the exams, there are certain ground rules available. Stage number four is called ground rules. On the exam day, on the exam day, you have three hours. So I'm trying to tell you what is in the ground rules. On the exam day, you have three hours. It's a three hour exam paper. You get three different sections on the exam day. You get three different sections on the exam day. Section one, section two, section three. You get three different sections on the exam day. Each section you have one hour to complete. Each section you have one hour to complete. Each section you have one hour to complete. One hour, one hour, one hour. Three hours available. Three hours available. Three hours available. Each section you have one hour. And they will tell you how many questions are there in each section as well. They'll tell you how many questions are there in each section as well? So this is what the exam paper will look like. Now ground rules, we will tell you what the ground rules are. Section 1, 60 minutes. If you complete all the work in 45 minutes, can you go to section number 2? Yes, allowed. But that 15 minutes you did not use in the section number 1. Why? Section number one is for 60 minutes. You use only 45 minutes. The 15 minutes you did not use cannot be taken into section number two. Not allowed. Cannot be taken into section number two. Not allowed. And you can't go back to section number one to complete the rest. Because you have sent the email to your boss. There are three sections. Each section is an email that you are going to get from your boss. Section paper is that. You are going to reply to that email is your answer. You're going to reply to that email is your answer. When the email is sent, you can't go and tell your boss, sorry, sorry, I want to add anything more. You can't. Not allowed. You can't. Not allowed. So those are what we discuss in the ground rules section. Those are what we discuss in the ground rules section. Right? KYP, KYI, deep dive, ground rules. The fifth section is called co-activities. What do you mean by co -activities? At SEMA, we have done a research in all over the world, prepare a list of things a senior finance professional will do in the real world. We have prepared a list of things that senior finance professional will do in the real world. Item number five is called co-activities. Can you guess how many co-activities are there? Item number five, stage number five is co-activities. Can you guess how many co-activities are there on the exam day? Can you guess how many co-activities are there on the exam day? Few guesses, please. Few guesses, please. Exactly. Five co-activities are there on the exam day. That will include five key things that we think you will be doing in the real world you will be doing in the real world. So these are 
the five co activities a b c d e those are the five co activities we think that a senior finance professional will be doing in the real world number 1 developing business strategy you need to develop a business strategy number 2 evaluate business environment number 3 recommend financing strategies number 4 evaluate and mitigate risk number 5 recommend and maintain a good control environment this is i will go into detail in these five things a b c d e five co activities because exam day questions will be based on these five co activities so something that i do with you is both of us work together to create a story about the pre scene based on the five co activities we take the pre scene and then we take the five co activities then we start creating stories storytelling is a very important skill ability that you got to have for you to be successful in the real world storytelling is a very important activity you should be able to do for you to be successful in the real you should be able to tell your tell the stories to your customers so they can buy your product you should be able to tell stories to your employees so they will work with you happily stories means no lies the real words but in a nicer presentation like a story so we do that together we call it think like the examiner we call it think like the examiner so that section is called think like the examiner there are enough situations where fbi will go to prison take a criminal out and use that criminal to catch other criminals fbi will go to prison take a criminal out and use that criminal to catch other criminal because fbi wants to think like a criminal fbi wants to think like a criminal can you give me a name of a movie where it shows that the fbi anyone who has taken a prisoner out of the out of the out of the prison and he is helping you to catch other criminals catch me if you can anything else there are enough movies there are enough movies like that. one of those movies is based on the video game as well one of those movies is based on the video game as well wash there are many so we should wash one i can't remember names of all white collar i think it's white collar white collar is a movie a criminal is a very nice criminal but helping the police to catch the other criminal and there is a, another one call uh, uh, black what is that uh can't remember black uh, black that's another famous netflix movie so anyway 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 my point is fbi will try to think like the criminals to catch the criminals i'm not saying your examiner is a criminal she is a very nice lady i'm saying you got to think like the examiner you got to be ahead of the examiner so you can do better on the exam day so both of us we do a two hour session we think we are the examiner then we develop the exam paper based on the pre scene we go through each co activity we design the exam paper together and it's a two hour two hours for one day another two hours on another day another two hours on another day we keep on developing the stories when you go to the exam you will find it very very easy to pass because we have thought about all of those so those are the five stages that i do when you join with us from tomorrow a b sorry 1 2 3 4 5 KYP, KYI, deep dive, ground rules, co-activities. The first five stages. There are ten stages in total. Oh my gosh! There are ten in total. I have covered only five. Balance five. We'll talk in five minutes. What are your questions? Any questions? Please do ask. Super interested to enjoy. We will play the video games if possible. We'll watch the movies on the video game. amazing video games are available uh, superb industry to make money you should start uh, developing some video games you can make lot of money out of it 
we'll think about what are the most popular video games we'll go through all of that very soon uh, when you join with us from tomorrow any questions any questions any questions any questions uh, can i ask this are you clear of everything i said so far are you clear of everything that i said so far i need to get a assurance whether you listen to me at least super okay so now stage number 6 7 8 9 10 i don't spend a lot of time 6 7 8 9 10 i don't spend a lot of time uh, please i didn't get the difference between vr and ar don't worry the difference between VR and AR, don't worry, it is available in our documents. When you go to KYP, you will be able to see that it's available in the KYP as well. Difference between VR and AR. So I will not worry about it for the time being. I'll not worry about it for the time being. But if you really want, uh, I can give you a quick explanation about it as well. I can give you a quick explanation about it as well. Uh, can I see whether I can get the slide faster? Uh, anyone from the admin team who can tell me the slide number? BR and AR. Okay. Ah, I found. I found the slide number. Okay. VR and AR. Okay. So let me let me explain the difference. In VR, you are creating a reality that is not there. Virtual reality. When you wear the glasses, you are seeing something that is not available at all. It's the virtual reality. It is not the real world. Oh, you are in a nice room. See how scared he is. Why he is scared? Because what he sees is so many dinosaurs trying to kill him. This is what you call the virtual reality. This is a reality that is created. That's what the VR is all about. So you have a small gadget in your hand. You can run and all that. You're not going to physically run. You are in this virtual reality. Augmented reality is you see the reality that is in front of you. See, you see what is in front of you. But this equipment, this gadget, you will put it in new. So you see what is in front of you. So I can show you in my company's virtual reality. Uh, if you want, I can show you even now. You can take a you can take a picture of my plate, right? And you can sh then switch on your camera. You see your table, actual table, actual table in front of you. You see this table, and you see how my plate looking good on that table that is what the augmented reality is anyway we will we will go in there a little later difference between know your precinct and know your business know your business is not in our situation it's something outside right so basically these are the five stages that i do please ask questions so i will answer please ask questions so i will answer please ask questions so i will answer Ah, so thank you very much. Now I understood the AR. So AR is reality is not virtual, real, real, real reality, but augmented. Augmented is that you went and put an augmented part. So there's a five minute video to explain that. I can share that video with you if you are in a common WhatsApp group, but I can share that video. Oh, I can play that video now. Uh, the video is called Augmented Reality versus Virtual Reality. AR and VR made clear. That video will be played when you join with us. This video will be played when you join with us. This video goes as augmented reality versus virtual reality. This video will be played because you need to know the difference between these two. Right? Okay. Uh, timetable we will email you when you. So uh, there are questions coming in. Can I please answer those questions? Uh, so is the timetable for future sessions available in Nanaska? Not on the Nanaska website, Samira. But uh, when you register, we will email you the timetable. When you register, we'll email you the timetable. We are starting sessions tomorrow. You can join today. Any questions? 
Any questions, please? Uh, please email the link to join classes. You can send an email quickly to info at nanaska.com. They will respond 24-7. 24-7, info at nanaska.com. Send an email to info at nanaska.com. You can always send me a WhatsApp message as well at any time. If you want to clarify anything, you can call me. If you want to clarify anything, you can call me. This is my mobile number. So my name is Channa. My mobile number is also given here. Most of you all might be having my mobile number. Most of you all will be having my mobile number. Any, any questions? So I was not added to the common WhatsApp group. It will be created from tomorrow, my dear. It will be created from tomorrow. We are not created the group tomorrow. Because we are starting the classes tomorrow. So one, two, three, four, five, I explained. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six. Six is what you call refresh theory. Six is what you call refresh theory. I will do a revision on E3, P3, F3, all three. I will do revision on E3, P3, F3, all three. All three. You don't need to go and do any work. I will take care of that responsibility from my end. I'm going to do it. Don't worry at all. Section number seven is called practice. Section number seven is called practice. Where we'll give you mock paper number one with the answer. You read the paper and see what kind of questions will come. You read the answer and see what kind of answers you are expected to be written. That's just a fun for you to get an idea. Section number eight is called reality. Mock number two, three, four, five, six, five marks. You do on the exam engine. We mark them, send you feedback. We do discussion with all of you all one by one to show you what your weaknesses are. One by one, we will do the session. That is the biggest impact that you will get from Nana's Club when you join. Because one by one, we sit with you and go through uh, what your weaknesses are. Section number 9 and 10 are there. Section number 10 is a revision. 9, I will not explain today. Those are the 10 core stages that is available. So, <clears throat> can I summarize now? Can I summarize? My name is Chan. I am from Nanaska. Nanaska is a SEMA, one of the SEMA Institute. We offer courses for all the SEMA subjects globally. Uh, I am part of SEMA Global Council. Uh, SEMA Global Council is the managing body for SEMA. Uh, SEMA got together with AICPA, created this largest accounting body called Association. Association is run by a board of directors. There are 26 directors, 13 from SEMA, 13 from AICPA. Right. So I'm part of SEMA Global Council. We discuss about your future. We discuss about members. We discuss about how we can have better members. Our objective is to build a better CEO from surgic level case study, not a finance professional. Don't worry. If you're not from finance background, don't worry. SEMA is not about finance. SEMA is about a better CEO. On the exam day, we have three hours, three different sections. Each section is for one hour. There's a pre-scene given this time. Very interesting pre scene that is given about the video game industry. Amazing industry, lot to learn. You will change the way you look at the digital world if you learn this industry. I have been learning this industry for the last few days. Join with me, let's learn the industry. So, exam day, we can kill whatever the question that comes very well because we are very comfortable to play the game on the exam. When you join with us tomorrow, there are 10 stages available one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, KYP, KYI, deep dive, ground rule, co-activities, the first five stages, that is where we are going to start the work with you guys. The first one is called KYP. First one is called KYP. First one is called KYP. I think these are the same one rather that I know. Yeah, right? Uh, from uh, my MCS life, right? Oh, right. So this is what uh, this is what the KYP is. Uh, it's nicely presented, so your life becomes much easier. Uh, there are many video games that are available in the real world. We need to talk about those video games. We need to talk about those video games. 
uh, is there a time limit to number of students to join the class is there a limit to the number of today we are packed we have too many that we can't absorb uh, but when you join the classes we will do in smaller groups where we can give a individual service for you all you can send an email to uh, info at nanaska.com for that company history our company history from 1986 how we started and where are we today the full details are given here full details are given here company relationship management so you will you will, you will learn a lot by going through this document this is the first document i am waiting to explain it to you tomorrow when we start the session tomorrow when we start the session financial review and all that you don't need to do anything so this is this is virtual reality i mean it's, it's, this is a virtual reality so you are in the middle of the war you are actually sitting in a nice air conditioned room but you, are, you feel like you are in the middle of the war financial don't worry we will do all the reviews we will do all the ratio calculations and give it to you these what the kyp will look like for you to get a good understanding available so there are enough issues in the industry right and we will talk about them as well right so this is what uh, this is what uh, my introduction uh, i need to talk to you a little bit more but before that uh, are there any questions are there any questions so what is our recommendation to a student who is yet to do e3 uh, e3 is very easy subject you can join with the strategic level case study do e3 while you study the strategic level case study because registration date for the exams you have enough time so you can do both parallelly i'll help you a little bit on the e3 as well i can't give you questions for e3 but i'll explain you any theory area that you need as well right course fee please send an email to info@nanaska.com i'm sure they will respond to you asap on the course fees and all the details all the details right so when you uh, sorry sorry uh, i'm sorry possibly you asked this question before can i can we answer this question is there a big difference between mcs and scs ah interesting question in sc not not a big difference but in scs there are a lot of uncertain things that are there what shall we do on the exam day not very clear you can do a b doing either one you can you can pass some questions might not be very very clear that's okay that's okay your interpretation you will get the credit for so some ambiguity some unclear areas like in the real world are coming in for scs compared to mcs but generally with us those who get through mcs will generally go through scs faster uh, there's a question what is the last date for the exams Wow. can someone help me with that question what's the last day for registering for the exams generally it should be uh, november 1st generally it should be november 1st can someone help me with that answer uh, ah hey, thank you 7th of november i told you enough time 7th of november right what is the recommended date to get pending otq 7th november or 5th november so you can get through them in october i will also help you for you to complete otq because one of the things that i ask on the very first day is to ask how you uh, like what whether whether you need to kind of complete uh, so some are saying 9 november better okay one more question what is the pass mark now pass mark is 60% for an average paper 60% for an average paper on the exam day there are three papers available exams are available on three different dates this is how sima is doing it i have seen it how it is done amazing exams are available on three different dates three different exam papers available sima will judge which paper is more difficult than the other paper average paper pass mark is 60% if the paper is difficult pass mark can be 58 if the paper is very easy pass mark can be 62 right so in brief that is what it is but how sima does it is very complicated a fairly expensive method a lot of money is spent on that method to ensure the proper quality is maintained 
Yeah, so this is a very valid question. I wanted to talk. There are a lot of people who are coming in directly to strategic level case study. I've been teaching for many students like this. There are many students coming for strategic level case study directly. Don't worry. There is no disadvantage for you. I will generally talk to you all separately as well. If you are coming from exception and the face, face for the first case study, are we have to have the previous knowledge? No. No. Uh, the required knowledge will be done in the sessions by me. So there is no previous knowledge required. I take those teams into a different groups and do a different session because they are worried about it. It's the first time they are doing it. They are worried about it. Actually, they don't need to worry because you, you are directly come to SCS because you have the experience. That experience can be used for the exam passing. Right? If you go to our Facebook page today, you will see a two-minute video where one of the guys, one of the students who got the highest mark is saying, look here, I have the experience and Nanaska was able to give that experience, she mold that experience to pass the exam. So that is what I do. Right? Uh, so those who are coming from the CFO path, uh, I can see someone is saying that, don't worry. All of you, all those who are coming directly to SCS, I will do separate sessions to support you, my dear friends. So, shall we, uh, shall we, I want to take one hour today. I want to take one hour today. I wanted to thank you for joining with us for the session today. I'm waiting to see all of you all tomorrow. Please send an email now itself to info at danaska.com. Send me a WhatsApp message. Send an email. They will help you to do the registration. Let's start with, let's start with, let's start with the gaming industry. Let's start with the SES game with the gaming industry tomorrow. Right? It's not a very difficult paper to pass. Not very easy. Not very difficult. You got to do reasonable amount of work. You can't, you need to allocate at least one hour every day. I will give you what you need to do every week. I'll give you what you need to do every week. As long as you follow the guidelines, we'll be able to be happy on the results day. So thank you very much for joining. See you tomorrow. And let's start the game from tomorrow. Send the email to now at info. Send the email to now uh, to info at nanaska.com so they can do the registration for you. I just taken my one hour sharp. I started a few minutes later, but I finished one hour sharp because this session I want to finish in one hour because we are, we, I don't need to repeat everything tomorrow because the trend is a lot of people coming today are coming tomorrow. So therefore, I don't need to repeat it tomorrow. So we'll see you tomorrow and ensure we pass the exams first time. Thank you very much. Good night and goodbye. Thank you very much. Good night and goodbye. Good night and goodbye.